Alright, hello guys. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Click to begin connecting, blah blah blah. And now we wait for. Alright, oh never mind. Now we wait for a loading screen. Blah 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 blah. Hmm. Now then. Yeah, we still gotta wait for it. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I probably should have like started this recording. After I hit the normal screen, <laughs> like how I normally do it, like before I hit, uh, I should have um started. There we go. I should have started before I hit this. But oh, 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 sorry, I was fumbling with something in my hand. Let me turn. Before we do that, let's just go to the achievements real quick, and just to see. New chapter one, episode one. New chapter two, episode one. Chapter 3, 4, 5, 8. Look, all the book papers that you want to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Chapter 5, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. And there are achievements that I probably did. Wait. Wait, did it? Why is it? That's weird. Kind of annoying. Alright, get. I just want to clear this off real quick before I hear. Alright, that's done. And now it's it. Gonna go to episode three. I oh, know episode four. No. <laughs> yeah, I did episode. Yeah, time to go to episode four. But I'm standing, pointing at me. Standing. Now we wait even more. Gosh, that's. I should have taken a drink before I saw this. I mean, a bigger If one. you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror, it's missing a piece. He must have taken a shot with him. The open arms. Oh man, it's super Enjoy awesome. your stay. Thanks, well, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. And not it's uh same. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did yeah. it! I know you know! And now we transition to someone what? else saving someone Look else. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Hey, what's the man? Like, come on. You saw me like all the time. Why would you? <laughs> show but you know just take him okay take crane well this is a beautiful 
beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Very broken up. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. God save our queen. God save our... I still haven't actually looked into the Fable Sisters yet. Which I really want to do. Things thing is I just keep accidentally going, looking, playing these games like late at night. Before I go to work in the morning, so... Yeah, that's my bad, sorry. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. I know what it is. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. Yes. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. My arm. Oh, my arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these oh, bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Guys. Just do it yourself, you fuck. I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. I mean, it's not like I wanted well, to do this. Well, he should. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know what it would be coming up with, like, two shotguns. Excuse me, Miss White, but... Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's exactly. finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, 
if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Yeah. I'll stay quiet right now. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Should you, should you really be walking out like covered in blood like that, man? At least cut, like, close the door. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Shut up, Colin Christ. I'm glad you're not dead. Hey, aren't we all? You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, yeah. it kind of scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I've sense. never seen you like that. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yep. Yeah, you were really yep. fucked up, man. You look uh, like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the uh, wrong way. <laughs> Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this yeah, whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man. Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the Crooked Man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there, Colin, so just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Lone Shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but... I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right the way? Right exactly. What do you think I mean? Exactly. I don't know. But it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. 
We need monsters to fight monsters. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. Because he tried to kill me. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this he is done just as much as guns. I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Big quiet about this. I got nothing to He'll say. get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's do just it. that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. I haven't given... And I, this I situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. What do you mean? And Bigby it's knows it's mayor. for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, but a pig in New York just standing out there, that's kind Thanks of for the support. Say, fucking Colin, dude, it's not my job to even do help you. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Just... Buffkin, what is it? <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She probably just I'd wants like to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. You know the place I, I should get back to the business office. Snow. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider yeah, the discussion the tabled, but blood. not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed yeah, real serious know. about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Oh. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Dude, fuck Thanks, you. Get a Bigby. job. I don't know what to tell you, man. If I, the guy who literally had the whole thing of killing people for food, got a job, and you can too. Christ. Fucking flycatcher, the guy whose wife was brutally murdered, got a job. wife uh, get a loan not from you know suspicious, suspicious people but from an actual bank maybe
maybe just you know go to the farm. Hi, Sheriff. Hi. Hi, Narissa. It's morning now. Have a seat. It's pretty broad. God, baby, do you ever clean out your ashtrays, by the way, too? God, it's a cigarette after cigarette after cigarette. I... Um, Clean it out. Are you okay? No. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> but right now, I'm gonna smoke. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Did you smoke shorties? Oh, did you see that texture change? Thanks. So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is... I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, what? at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. I could be so afraid. I hope you're looking after yours. I have no friends. Are so you? Little, uh, nah, don't have any friends. Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are seat. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? So, like, when it, if you try to write it down, you're just gonna say these lips are sealed. Or these hands are sealed. spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't I, 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 do that! Slow down. It's alright. 
not gonna do anything. That's why I didn't want to do it, because I... Please, don't. <sighs> okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... <laughs> if anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, Bloody Mary just can you keep hey. this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. I can't just open my door Sorry, like that. I just need no, to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. See ya. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Uh, she told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. Yeah. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. What? You didn't even touch that button. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other I matters to attend to. Alright, we'll see you now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to oh, agree so to it. Oh, so this. <laughs> and when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going oh, to keep man. that a secret too? 
know what it was. You know what was going on, B. I had to get a job. Alright, let's just pause this for a second. Good lord, that was really bad. Yeah, let's take out the book of Amos real quick. Silver bullets, wolf's weakness. The legends of great and magical wolves are often. Often. Hmm. Sorry, something's in my throat. Legends of, of great and magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver. And those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary saw back with was not the first, but any of, of them could be his last. Any symbol left in his baby's um, bodies weakens his system, slows his healing, slows his healing and can cause long term damage. Acting deputies are white. But take about Queen found out of the picture, and King Cole is still absent. The task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on snow. No soldiers. She has performed many of the jobs and duties for a long time, but up the slack for Crane. But now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of parting. She had not really been exposed to it. Life on the farm. With idyllic locations and balanced community, the farm would, would seem to be a welcome alternative to eking out an extensive in Fabletown. Those who have lived there see it very differently. They see it as what it is a person. A place where you, where you are free to be who you are and do whatever you please, except leave. It doesn't hurt that a while filled with people who appear human. Do you have to worry about being sent to the farm? They always seem to feel like it's there. So you can do whatever you want, but you can't leave. That doesn't really sound like a prison. Get a job and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. You know what it it's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to you. Fine. Go oh. What do you want? What do you mean well, what I want? You're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Yeah. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty don't night. you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Have you been shot, B? Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it yeah, all I'm night long from her. Here. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? I'm about to bust this door down, beast. It's your pal. Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. This is a pretty fancy mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of it. We don't need to bring him into this. It's ridiculous. Mm. I just don't think we can talk about this living in the past. Behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? I at this face. Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Well, there's not really much anything else here. Game, can you please not finish up? Thank you. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they yeah, say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. 
I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! Looks expensive. No, That's really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see How? if he can help us out. Why are you being uh, like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of... lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that... We had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Normal people? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Hey. <laughs> We're not done and we yet. can't come to I the should... phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Christ, that's the whitest... That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of... It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Am I answering that? All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. <laughs> Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... I want to get beauty in trouble. Really? You know that butcher really? shop? The, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. 
Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. So you fix one thing and you're liable? It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Oh, really? Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. I'm scraping to get by. Well, this is None of us You put yourself in your own... We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place well, feel this a little home. bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. That looks huge in that side. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Christ. Even though I personally hate when people smoke in general, like it's, it's big piece character. He can do what he wants. Big B Wolf? Yep. <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> Um, let's see. What's the point of keep What do we have in stock? Anyway? Let's uh let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special, New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh sirloin. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, 
what else would they be? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale Man, and meat packing and walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing it's ridiculous here. How bad you better stop mind. fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. I can tell just by looking at it that your <laughs> meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh, time to immediately follow up. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Okay, I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Sure. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Shut the fuck up! Alright, I, I don't want to be that big of a guy. I fucking knew it! You are a part of this! You've been bullshitting me this whole time! Where's Mary? Where's the fucking crooked man? I will put your head through that fucking door! Yeah, I didn't, Tell me I didn't what I need to, to know! Aggressive. Now! You... you... you're a monster. A fucking monster. Why are you doing Man. this? I'm not part of their Dude, crew. Dude, when Bigby puts his hands Fuck. on you, he puts his hands on you. The Christ. crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that Fuck mental case, Bloody friends. Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. And now it's time to mass. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I 
I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to! Why? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? You know, I can put my hands on you again. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. All right, Johan, do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? I want to be an asshole so badly. I mean, I, I have been kind of being an asshole, but like the actual main, main like nothing but dick. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? So please do that. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. on here Do you know anything about this I, I I don't know a lot of fables out there need a lot of things I don't know what to say Lily DDJ Miss Moffat Mr. Black Mr. Dr. Jones Mr. Knight Mr. M Mr. Smith Mr. Sunflower Mr. R Mr. Black Larissa Rose Red Thrust Beard Vivian Mr. Fong These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. It's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You, know, that really you don't have to tell me. The fact that I'm looking at a store. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. Well, I guess you don't know. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror Man, with so the big green well, head and all. Don't Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the people. Probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. 
The Lucky Pawn. They probably Why took Crane there, here? too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really I still are you didn't the big cooperate. bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around what ruining fables lives, ruin life? tormenting people. You should have just stayed home, spent the day chain smoking. Don't play innocent with me, Butcher. You screwed with me up front. Don't cry foul, cause you exactly. got it in the end. Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm going to take him down. Now before that, let me smoke and flip with the inferno oil meat, just so I can taint it even more. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just it's gonna? It's my fucking system. Jack, what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna. Sure I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you oh, later. A beer garden hey, too. what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. Uh... I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out! I'd like to see you try you backwards, fuck! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? Weird. Back off, dog. Why are you calling I me? I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got oh the my stones God. to <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go. Ah! You. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Uh, okay, well. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> Go on, 
try to stop me! Missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about her, anything, Nothing. do you? What do you have? Nothing. Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Jesus. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where'd they take him? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. I really like his voice, by the way. It's... Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. But first, let me pause it. And look at the Book of Fables. Alright. The Jersey Devil. Garden State Goon. I really love that design. Not all the Fable Town, all the Fables who came to this world landed in Fable Town. There are those who scattered across the far farthest corners of the earth, and there are those who simply prefer the Garden State to the Empire State. Such as the Jersey Devil. Reports of, the, of its appearance are have varied, although most accounts make, make a mention of, of leathery rings, but an encounter with a certain axe of legend um, some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. Temporarily, so it can go back. The woodsman's axe and scar by druids. Once such a simple tool for foretelling trees, the axe became much more when it was in scroll by druids and marked with their wounds. But it truly became an object of legend when the woodsman used to slice the big bad wolf. Um, from from the navel to the neck to, to in protection of little bird and little R R. Make a old word of charm by simply of design and glory of woodsmen make it an effective tool or weapon even to then. Johan the Butcher, his name is often said in the same breath as, as that of, of the baker and candlestick maker of Fable Town. And like those other tradesmen, Johan the Butcher's storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, exotic meat, and even full size of beef for vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's business had fallen in hard times and fallen in with the wrong crowd. As the quality of his products declined and his business turned into the front of operations with the working men, 
Some have started to wonder if they ever burn your heart. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Take it. You won't be needing yeah. this anymore. Take all the money. That sick piece of... The shard. It's, it's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff! Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do nothing. to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Why does everyone smoke? It's the smoke that you literally just lit. Alright, well, I guess. I guess we'll turn that into a problem with that. Thanks. Should Why does grand. nobody like Huffing Puffs? You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. I literally just started smoking. Why did I just put Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. Alright. Go do it then. Picking up a guy, covering the guy next to a guy. Hey, Woody. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? We all got our roles to play, Wolf. I'll we'll see you. Answer my question. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff you... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one yes. moment, please. Look what I found. It's clearly too small for the shard. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I mean, it's clear, it's clearly too small for the mirror's missing piece. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. Have You've I? been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? 
That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? Yeah, exactly. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Science Witch, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Yeah, fuck Toad. Toad, come here. Don't make that fucking face, you animal. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. It's a bit broad, don't you think? I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? Game. In fact, if I remember correctly. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Yeah, Is he, he going is. to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about it. A worst kept secret in Fable Town. I haven't decided on him yet, but every situation's different, Toad. Well, might I suggest a path of compassion for the peak? And me and me boy, too. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say, you just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch? So what else did you find out? The crew. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ for his old glamour rules. Oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Hey, I've been out of glamour from the word go. I have no choice. You and TJ are going to the farm. Fuck leaving tomorrow. Don't Big B me. I think you better go break it to your boy. Big B. Look, the damages might be a valid complaint, but that's a separate deal. Waylon Smith can see that. I never claimed to be a farm. friend of the people. I You're just a real to do friend of the people, oh, Sheriff. I'd be surprised if anyone had. He'll become a man of means by tipping. What a crook of shite. The government buy the fables for the fables, my ass. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. There's no way so you direct can, your right? questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. 
Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right oh, I felt now. Good. Glamours I felt are the amazing. law for a very good reason. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and... It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? Uh, no. I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do Sabbath. that? I don't know. When I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Why is this the person hanging over there? Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks That's for right. putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. I don't even know. He's probably still game. waking up out a little. Game. Video game. Telltale. The wolf among us, please. I, mean, I bet this is going to be one of the suggested thumbnails for this video. Just because of. Oh. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man oh, needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my okay. way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Mm. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong okay. direction and looked at Bloody Mary's She's, uh, reflection. Oh, so her. This is very rough for the that explains the no state. I'd rather not this. have <laughs> to feel I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, let's not do that again, okay? Game. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat. Where's the, the audio? Man. Oh my! I did. I, I th Ga game, Telltale, please. Just show me where oh I can God. find the. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance. <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Recognize the door, but that's the crooked man's symbol on it. Hold off. The door, it moves. Uh, what I tell you. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central oh, Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Big B, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets up. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. A lie. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Him really bad Good. Too. I have enough to worry about here, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. I got no...
just keep playing that same old tune. This episode is it's loading time like it's the um, the quality of this episode is kinda lower than the others. Not in storytelling but just in uh you know technicality ways because I haven't had the game freeze up or take this long in any of the other episodes. Like legitimately, no other episode has gotten this much issue. And I really don't like that.
know what I'm gonna do? So it seems like this game is crashed. So, uh, what we're gonna do right now? What I'm gonna do right now is, uh, For some reason, oh my god. Oh man, I wonder if you guys can see what I'm. Okay, no, you can't. Oh man, I really just love taking technical difficulties. And, and I don't really feel like editing this out because I just don't. Oh, man. Holy shit, man. My computer is really just dying right now. Still nothing. You'll either be seeing like the Wikipedia um for a Wolf Among Us page or just a this black screen. Man, this must be riveting gameplay right now. Christ. I definitely have to put up an annotation that says skip to this. Skip to a certain part.
All right. <laughs> this is taking way too long. Um. It does not. How long have, have I been recording? And how long have we been sitting in silence? And in, in this black horde. Hmm. Uh. All right. I think I'll just end this recording right now, and maybe cut out like. Uh, yeah, probably just cut out this entire part, um, this entire situation right now because it's taking way too long. Why am I even saying this? Alright, hello guys. Welcome back to, uh, Over Among Us. Oh, well, I shouldn't be saying it like, like that, welcome back. But, um, I, uh, I had to close and reopen, reopen the, the app again, so there's that. Yeah, I had to close and reopen the, I had to close and reopen the game because the game just crashed because that, that own screen is way too long for a normal game, so, yeah, there's that. And let's just look at this book of favorites beforehand. Bluebird's money, one might think that Bluebird donates funds to the favorite time government for the various purposes. He makes special favors about to have a lot of money to come with cheating. But he really wants to stimulate and strength because, as far as Bluebird is concerned, Favoriton exists to insulate him from the money world. As much as his money can be can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. Alright, that's done and done. Resume fucking game. Sensor Paul comes off the bridge. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Uh, I have to admit, Tiny when Tim. they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. I mean, yeah, not gonna lie, I don't really feel like making that cripple's job hard for me. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I get it. You have a job. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. 
I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have right. it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Well, yeah, Crane's a part of it too. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, oh, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, 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 like he's just doing his job. What did I tell you? Eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah, mate. I go ahead. You got a job to do. The wolf. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. JJ, what are you gonna do? I know the Early sheriff is in the this accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. stories about you in the old days how you picked off those men one by one oh how they screamed the wolf is coming and they would wait hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic shivering corpse some would just drop to their knees where they stood close their eyes and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Oh, but that's when they fuck. <laughs> uh, did you send calls on the farm? You and Eighth. I didn't say that. I said. I was undecided. Did you attempt to remove a nurse around you? You and 63% of the players did not try to remove the ribbon. Even though it looks like it did in the... Yeah, whatever. Which critical operation did you investigate first? You and 63% of the players went to the cut, cut above first. You and 24.1% of the players decided to totally go to the farm. Because... Fuck Toad, he's being a bitch to me the entire game. You and 41% of the players, I'm sorry to talk to him first. And that's it for this episode. so many issues with it like like looking into constant fusing low load like low like long load times and a fucking crevice 
The episode itself is fine. Bloody Mary was still pretty cool. Let me see. Let me see what it's going on. Let's see what it's saying. Yeah. this episode time to like skip, skip the credits because like you'll see all the credits like when I in episode 5 Long, long time, you know. No, mm -hmm. Wait, I should probably wait so I can read, <laughs> so I can read the book of fables. Okay, I'll tell you what. If, okay, wait. Okay, I was about to say. I was gonna give this like thirty seconds. Let's read the book of fables. Let's read this. The, the crooked layer headquarters occupy this sanctioned church that is just one of the many locations in the crooked lands I've reason to choose to run the film town on the wall. Its launch atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up from the outside world and the only way in is through one of the many portals marked by the door of the crooked lands. Catherine blue icons scattered across the city and elsewhere. A crooked man, crime lord. The crooked man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with the with crooked sixpence and a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way and in his eyes. The crooked man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always as a high cost, he is a cunning precision and ruthless. Tiny Tim, Sentry. I really wouldn't consider Tiny Tim a Sentry. Um, I would use a different word. While most famous theorize that the long longevity and overall being is moved through by the money's world of knowledge of him, for, me, for a select few, that does not seem to apply. When they melody, melody, or injury is an intent. Integral part of the fable story did, but not only can make them make recovery nearly impossible. That is, that is what Tiny Tim, at least, and no medical care or magic rather than that can be afforded to heal it. Oh, wow! So, because of his story and how Tiny Tim is a, is a, like, is a cripple, he can never, no matter what, like, it's all about him being a cripple, he can never have his leg healed. Nearly impossible, that's what 20th symptoms at least. And and no medical care or magic none that like, Oh none that he can afford can heal his back. Okay. Okay, maybe he can heal can just direct heal, but like who knows? Okay, I'm seeing pictures of the farm, like and yeah, there is a barnyard, but at the same time there's also houses and such. So I don't really think it's that bad. With the idyllic location and managed to the the farm would have would seem to be a welcome alternative to the existence of Fable Town. But those who have lived there seem very different in that way. I've already read this, except. Yeah, I've already read this. Christ. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Christ, I hope episode 5 doesn't isn't crash a mania like this one is. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye bye.